Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'll be taking a look at a 16 gigabyte Crucial DDR5 memory kit. An awesome budget DDR5 option for those of you looking to get going with the latest generation of memory for under £100 and still receive that next gen DDR5 performance. Let's take a look. Now let's start off with the basics. What exactly is DDR5 memory? Well, DDR5 memory is the next generation of RAM that's supported by the latest Intel 13th gen and AMD Ryzen 7000 series of processors. DDR5 memory, much like DDR4 memory, provides up to double the bandwidth, allowing for much faster data transfer speeds. In fact, this kit can transfer speeds about 1.75 times quicker than the previous generation. Double the bandwidth also as well helps to increase the data throughput, providing more data at a faster rate to your CPU, which relies on that information to process and get things going. With speeds in the region of 4800 MHz and faster kits also available over on ebuy.com, which we'll link below, this could be the perfect budget upgrade for your next gaming PC. In this video, I'll also be showing you how to install DDR5 memory, as it does differ slightly to DDR4, and covering off the aesthetics and unboxing of this crucial kit. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box, shall we? First impressions, I'm very impressed with how small, compact and easy this thing is. You've got two little pop divots at the top, so one on the left and one on the right, which nice and easily come out of place, and then the ramp opens up, revealing the two dims. Now each of these dims is 8 gigabytes in capacity, so you could either go for a larger dim size with 16 gigs, or pick up four for a 32 gig memory config. You'll see it's got quite a nice sleek black PCB, which should blend in well, and although it lacks any fancy aesthetic heat spreaders, you're not going to have too many problems with cooling and it doesn't look awful by any means. You've got your memory chips themselves on the RAM DIMM itself, so 8 gigs, so there's probably 4 2 gig memory chips uh, at a guess alongside a centralised controller. They're also very low profile, so if you're building a mini ITX PC or a home workstation build, something a bit smaller, these aren't going to impede with any cooler configs or anything like that. You'll notice that the gold contact strip looks very much the same as DDR4 memory, though the notch is actually in a slightly different place, affecting the installation, which we'll look at in a moment. Otherwise though, it's a very simple simple kit. The main upsides really are that extra data speed and the additional bandwidth from DDR4 memory through to DDR5. And with DDR5 kits being quite expensive at the moment, a more budget oriented kit like this certainly can make a little bit of sense for those who are looking at controlling the purse strings just a little bit when they build their next PC. So how then do you install this? Well you want to first line up the gold notch on the memory with the notch on your RAM DIMM slots. That's the long slots with the middle bit. You'd also notice that the notch is slightly off center meaning if you try and install it the wrong way around, and I can demo this gently so I don't break eBuyer's lovely memory, you'll be able to see that it doesn't fit. No matter how much you push it, it just doesn't line up. So what you want to do is get the memory chips themselves facing towards the CPU, then pull back the clips on your DIMM slots and slide the RAM in. A bit of pressure with your thumbs is a good idea to each side and it will make a nice click sound. If the other one doesn't quite click in, give it a bit more of a push and that should do the job. Same as well with your second DIMM. Now, if you've got two DIMMs, you'll want to use the second and fourth slots on the whole as a general rule. Four DIMMs, you'll fill all of them. And if you've got one, you'll use the innermost or the second slot. But you can consult the manual of your motherboard or PC that you're upgrading when you do this. So you can see now the RAM's installed and you can give it a bit of a wobble. I wouldn't pull on it particularly. It's not gonna support the weight of the motherboard. It's not designed to. Now, I do always get questions about what the difference is between RAM and SSD. Now, they're both very fast storage mediums, but this is what you call volatile memory, while your SSD is called non-volatile. That means when you lose power, the data in your RAM goes, and the data in your SSD does not. So that's the difference. This is a lot quicker than an SSD, but obviously you've got a smaller capacity, allowing the CPU to access it more quickly. Fun fact is why the two are located so close together on a motherboard. It reduces the physical distance that the data has to travel, reducing the latency, the lag, and of course, increasing those perceived transfer speeds. So then, that's some crucial memory. 8 gigabyte DIMMs, DDR5, 4800 megahertz, providing support for Intel 12th and 13th gen and Ryzen 7000. You can learn more about this RAM kit and the full range of crucial memory kits over on ebuy.com at the links below. Thank you very much for tuning into this video and to the eBuyer channel. I've been James, this has been eBuyer, and we'll see you in the next one.